Iceberg here and in this video we're going to explore some of the most recent uh, new UI UX tools uh, which are going to enable you to create uh, designs uh, faster and in a more efficient way. So without further ado, let's get started with the very first one and uh, this uh, is uh, one which I recently discovered and it's called figmacomponents.com and as you can see it's a library with uh, all sorts of different Figma components and the best part is that they are all ordered in this uh, uh, filter section so you can filter by pretty much uh, any type of component uh, and the area that uh, you can think of and uh, the great thing about it is that uh, you can easily just uh, select a component uh, click on copy to clipboard and as you can see this is now copied into my clipboard and I can simply go in any Figma file just use a command V and I can paste it inside of the file. And this is a layered, uh, an actual Figma component. So this is really, really useful. And uh, you can find tons of inspiration and really high quality components uh, over here. So definitely check it out. Now, the very next uh, uh, tool which I want to talk about uh, is uh, this one right here, which I recently discovered as well. And uh, it's uh, animocap.com. And uh, what uh, this uh, tool enables you to do, and I'm going to bring myself here on the right, uh, it's uh, essentially going to enable you to create uh, some uh, uh, animated mockups uh, in a, a very fast uh, and efficient way. So as you can see here on the top, uh, you can uh, basically browse through different type of devices. So you can upload uh, a photo and then uh, select uh, pretty much any of uh, these devices that uh, you can see right here. And uh, uh, you can add a video or an image directly here. And of course, also adjust the screen cropping since every image that you're going to upload, uh, we're going to need some adjustments of, uh, of some sorts, uh, unless you basically nail it the first time. Then you can select the different background and uh, the start animation. So they have a, a bunch of different animations. So in this example, I selected fade in. In this one here, I selected scale. And uh, for some reason, the screen is not appearing, but I'm still going to show you like how it works. So you basically click on play. You can see the initial animation and also the fade out animation. So you can mix and match uh, these uh, in a pretty fast and efficient way. And once you're good to go, you simply click on preview and download, and then you're going to download the file directly on your computer. So really, really useful, really, really handy. And just before we move on to the very next one, I want to remind you that I recently pretty much gave out all of the courses which I created over the past years. Uh, which is over 40 hours of content uh, away for just nine bucks. So if you're interested in uh, leveling up uh, your UI UX uh, or web design career, or if you're a student and uh, you want to start from scratch, uh, here you're going to find courses of all sorts from getting starting UI UX design to the design theory and also all of the design softwares as well as to how to find and then sell to high paying design clients. So if you're interested in that, check it out. But then let's move on to the very next tool, which is mockups. And uh, this is a tool which uh, has been recommended to me by a friend of mine who is a UI UX designer. And uh, it basically turns uh, uh, what used to be boring, the screenshots, which nobody likes really, uh, in and of itself in a more interesting uh, and uh, as you can see here from the video uh, you can you can basically create uh, like more interesting uh, screencasts and uh, video flows so you can have like these really cool animations uh, and really bring uh, your designs uh, to life which uh, is uh, what we always want to do whenever we're presenting uh, uh, our hard uh, work uh, or our design projects uh, to the clients. So check it out if you're interested in that. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, just tools which I think are cool. And um, yeah, it's pretty much uh, uh, so that's that. And also when it comes to the uh, design and bringing designs to life, we cannot uh, not 
talk about uh, a tool which uh, I haven't personally tried yet, uh, but I'm really interested in trying. And that is Locofy, which basically turns uh, your designs uh, into what they say here, production ready front end code for mobile apps and web. Now, I'm always a little bit uh, skeptical when it comes uh, to these uh, type of tools. And the reason being is that uh, uh, turning designs into code uh, and turning it, uh, them into clean code is always a challenge. So it's always uh, something which uh, has been uh, a dream of many designers and developers to have product production ready code. And uh, I think uh, these guys are definitely heading in the right direction. This is a tool which has been recommended by a developer friend of mine. And as you may know, I'm a designer. I do have uh, knowledge of development. I developed many, many pages in the past. And uh, so I, I do have an understanding, but I'm not, uh, this, this, this is not what I do on my day to day. And basically, based on what they said, uh, this tool is pretty, pretty good. Um, also cool thing. Uh, they adapt with uh, uh, with Figma, so that's uh, and also Sketch from what I'm seeing here. So this uh, is uh, definitely uh, something which is really helpful, something that uh, doesn't really show show away from our usual workflows. So definitely check it out. Now talking about Figma, this is another tool which uh, I always uh, uh, wanted to uh, to have uh, in Figma, and that is a background uh, remover for uh, images. Because uh, one of the things which I always used to do recently is to use remove.bg website uh, in order to, to remove uh, the uh, image backgrounds, but it's always a tedious pro process because you have to download the image, then bring it on remove.bg, have it uh, um, have the background removed, and then download it, and then add it indirectly into Figma. And uh, what this plugin allows you to do is to simply have the image in Figma directly, click a button, and you're done. So this is uh, going to be a huge time saver. Uh, for anyone who's um, working regularly or you know that needs a background removal from time to time, um, even easier, like way easier than using uh, manual softwares like Photoshop uh, as well. So definitely something interesting. And this is another interesting site, uh, which is especially good for students of design because it shows you the the history of. Uh, the interfaces so you can learn about uh, all of the way back uh, where we this all uh, ui ux and the web design field uh, came from so where is the history and uh, where <laughs> all of this is uh, is basically coming from so you can see it's a, a scrollable site and you have uh, uh, all of the all of the history and all of the major uh, timeline points uh, in one single view. So definitely really, really cool. Now, another uh, useful tool, which um, I tried recently, it's uh, called Design Maestro. And uh, it's a free extension, uh, uh, as they say here, for the Keyboard Maestro app, uh, which is for, for Mac. And uh, essentially, you have uh, all sorts of different macros which uh, are tailored for designers. So macros such as uh, lorem ipsum generator, optimi optimizing images, uh, removing background from images, uh, color picker, and uh, you know a bunch uh, more. So this is uh, this is pretty cool. Um, it's gonna help you save time, uh, and uh, if uh, you're a nerd for for macros and optimizing each and every minute of your day, like I am, uh, this is definitely a tool which uh, you want to check out. So I really hope this video was helpful and I want to remind you that on my channel I have over 700 videos where I'm sharing my over a decade of experience as a UI UX designer and web designer. So if you're interested in learning more about this field uh, entirely for free, feel free to check it out uh, and I'll see you in the very next video.